Welcome to the Car 98 Gold Camel Guide in Modern Warfare. We're going to go through everything you need to know to fast and efficiently complete all camos and unlock that Mastery Gold Challenge. Personally, I think the car is the worst sniper slash marksman rifle in the game. I literally find everything else easier to use than it. I know the car was awesome in World War II and World at War but in this game, it's just not that good. Now, it is pretty easy to get gold compared to the pistols, the melees, and the launchers, but it is a difficult gun to do because at long ranges, unless you're hitting headshots or upper body shots, you will be getting a lot of hit markers. And I do recommend Ground War for this. If you don't like Ground War, obviously the hardcore playlists will be very good, as well as some of the core playlists. And if you're a crazy crackhead G Fuel snorting god at the game, Shoot House 24-7, Crash 24-7, whatever the 24-7 playlist will be really good for you as well. Going into my setups, on the muzzle, I have the monolithic suppressor. Now you can run the Car 98K without the suppressor. I just like running it because it suppresses is my shot so it kind of keeps me hidden and it also increases that damage range into the barrel we have the Singard custom 27.6 inch barrel this increases our damage range bullet velocity and recoil control very helpful overall for my rear grip i have the stippled grip tape stippled grip tape i've said stippled in my old videos i'll just go with stippled what this attachment does is it increases your aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed so it increases your chances of being more accurate in close quarter situations where you might be quick scoping for my optic i have the variable zoom scope i just have this to increase the zoom level and magnification toggle it's a little bit better than the sniper scope but you do unlock it as the very last attachment for the car but it's worth it and for the perk i have fully loaded this just increases my ammo capacity and lets me carry more which benefits me because i'm not having to use scavenger or the ammo boxes to field upgrade and in ground war i'm not going to the ammo resupplies as often as i normally would be Focusing on the categories you need to complete before you unlock gold, the first one is spray paint, and this is just 450 kills. Easy to do. Passive challenge, you'll do it in the background as you work on other categories such as woodland, which is 60 headshots. I find in ground war, I drop a lot of headshots in the gameplay in the background. I think I go on like a 7-8 kill streak where it's literally just headshots, and that's 10% of the whole woodland category. For me, ground war is where to go. Digital is 50 crouch kills. As long as you're crouching, you'll complete this. What I recommend doing in ground war is just finding a really good power position where you can see a bunch of the map. Figure out where the enemies are spawning, make sure you crouch, and then you can just drop a couple easy crouch kills. And with the amount of crouch kills you have to complete, you will finish this really fast. Dragon is one shot kills and if you are struggling with this first thing go to hardcore hardcore is one shots with the car at all ranges regardless of your attachments the reason i say that is because in core depending on how good you are with the marksman rifles and the snipers you will be getting lots of hit markers since this doesn't have the greatest damage to it and if you're good with snipers you can easily hammer this out in core splinter is pretty straightforward it's 150 kills with five attachments just equip five attachments onto the car and just smash out this challenge with all three camel categories spray paint splinter and reptile which we'll get into reptile a little bit later while you're focusing on other categories you'll just complete these naturally as long as you're following the requirement topo is 50 long shots if you're playing on those close quarters maps like shoot house and crash you won't be getting a lot of long shots and if you want to complete this category very fast play on large maps like arclov peak euphorit's bridge any ground war map and Grozny raid. Just get in a good position where enemies are going to be long distances from you, smash out those 50 kills, and then head on to the next category, which is Tiger, and this is 50 mounted kills. If you unlock Tiger at the same time you're doing Topo, a very efficient way to knock down both these challenges is to go into a spot on ground war, mount up on a corner or a ledge, and then just make sure you're killing 50 people, and you should complete Tiger very fast within a few games, and you can also do Topo at the same time as long as you're killing at long ranges. Stripes is 25 double kills, and for some people this is a pretty difficult challenge because they're not that good or skilled with sniper rifles. Honestly, all you need to do is just stick around in an objective, I'll have some gameplay footage in the background where I'm picking off double kills pretty easily. Just get two enemies that are unsuspecting of you and just kill them and you're good to go and you should finish this if you're struggling with it in about 10 games, depending on if you get the hang of it or not. Reptile is 75 kills with no attachments, same thing I said earlier, you'll complete this as you work on other ones. And the last challenge is going to be skulls, 3 kills without dying 25 times. This challenge category is almost with every gun except launchers, 3 kills without dying 25 times, super easy to do, it stacks, so if you get 6 kills, it'll count for 2. 9 kills for 3, 12 for 4, 15 for 5, so on and so forth. And at this point, if you've completed all 10 categories with all 10 camos within it, you will have unlocked a total of 100 camos for the Car 98K, and will have unlocked that gold mastery challenge. 
I hope you guys did enjoy. In the description, there's going to be my Discord link, as well as the Damascus Camel playlist, where all my gold camel challenges will be. And if you want to hop in the Discord, I will be in it most days. So we can chat there and do all the fun stuff that you do in Discord in the first place. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up today. If there is one, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.